So here we are, we are back, yes, Tainted Grail, and wow, I look like shite, but damn, damn, I look tired, and I slept really well, I don't know what's going on, what's wrong with my camera, hmm, you've been messing with my camera, haven't you, I know you have, don't deny it, own up, own up in the chat, I know it was you, right, so, we're going to try and uh, take on everything that we can, and uh, try to take on the stone golem. Um, <laughs> how well is this going to go? I don't know. Uh, we'll try a couple of times with the summoner. Um, as you know with the fey and the golem and things like that. If we can't do it, we'll try it with a different class. Uh, we just need to try and uh, take on the stone golem. So hopefully it all goes well. I have had to plug my headset in, annoyingly. Uh, I forgot to charge it, you know, because I'm smart like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's crack on, slide the old keyboard towards me, but uh, yeah, let's go. How many weird candles have I got? Seven. Uh, let's go. That's... What are you? I think you're that weird looking worm thing. Oh, me in the morning. Well, it looks like me now, doesn't it? Jeez, I look rough. I look rough. Oh, look at this. He's stunning, isn't he? Look, oh, look, look at that smile. He's happy to be here. Oh, wow. Worm straight away. Increase minion's damage by 50. Thank you very much. Activate minion. That will be the fey. But let's just uh, keep slamming these out. No, throw that. You know the drill by now. If not, then what are you doing with your life? Uh, we need to throw up a barrier. Uh, reduce the armor of all enemies. E yes, please. I will promote the Fae. And we'll activate you. Throw that straight back into it. Don't need to, need to keep explaining it. You know the drill. You know the drill. Promotion. Promotion activate. You have two. Uh, let's throw that into you. Then we'll like, activate you. Nice. Okay, right. Use that. Next, we're going to throw those three into this bad boy. Uh, let's throw them into the, uh, the golem. I'll activate you just to get your health up. I'll throw a barrier on myself. Ooh, ugly looking worm. That is an ugly as sim worm, isn't it? Uh, activate minion. Let's activate you. And activate you just to get your health back up, Golem. Right, let's. Throw that back into you. Uh, we'll throw the worm out there. We'll activate the fair. And yeah, let's just get your health back up there, Gollum. You need it, bless you. You need it. Uh, what have we got? We've got another Gollum. What's this? Reduce damage of all enemies up to 20%, increase random cards cost 
Oh no, I don't want to increase cards cost. Alright, let's get you. Your power's now gone up. Great. Um, activate the Fae again. Throw a nice little barrier on me. Let's activate the. Oh wow, who took a pounding? But are you going to survive the rebound hit from the golem? You did. Okay. But are you going to withstand it from the worm, though? That's the thing. Oh, two hits between 14 and 23. Oh, let's just <laughs> activate it, because you're dead. Level three. Nice bit of wealth. So what have we got? Pick a new card. Sacrifice a minion, summon a worm instead. Uh, existence. Increase the minion's max HP by 50 and heal it for 15 HP. Sacrifice a minion and deal one hit for two. I'm not sacrificing any of my minions. Uh, I'll do existence. Why not? Increase its uh, HP. And uh, pick a new passive skill. Increase the damage of all minions by 10%. Uh, runic signs. Every combat, the energy cost of the first sigil you play is reduced to zero. And coordinated assault. Increase the damage of each minion at level. Four. Well, I might as well just increase the damage of all minions by 10%. It's not a lot. But, you know, it's got to be better than nothing, can it? Alright, what are you? And there's a wanderer behind them. Okay. Oh, I hate you. And I hate you even more. You all suck. And yeah, let's just increase minions damage. Okay. And um, we'll bring out an abomination. And we'll just get that to hit a couple of times. Do want to get a fay out as soon as possible. Existence. Increase minions match HP. That will be the golem. Throw up a barrier. And we're card deal one hit or lose 50 damage. Yeah, we're not having that. Uh... Oh, what am I doing? Uh, who should we hit? You. But you blocked it because you suck. Abomination. Let's throw that card on you. And the attack. I do like that the abomination does hit everybody. That definitely does help. But I do want to get a Fey out. I want to start getting uh, me ultimate ability. Oh, there we go, gorgeous. And we'll promote you. And we'll activate you. And we'll throw that straight back into the Fey. And we're going to activate you again. Because we can. Why not? Oh, bet that hurt you, didn't it? Uh, throw up a couple more barriers. Not really got that much, so... Throw up another barrier. Let's activate the Fae. I should put it up to two. Yep, straight back into the Fae. Because my plan of action is to just get a bit of power, unlock some more cards, hopefully ones like we had last time. You know, start the battle with 20 barrier. That really helped. Um, rather than having to, you know, try and rely on these barrier cards. Uh, let's activate the minion. That's up to two, so we'll promote you again. Throw up a barrier on the golem, because his health is pr getting pretty low. And uh, activate the Fey. Hey, already up to three. Look at that, gorgeous. I don't like that he keeps getting a barrier. You suck. Oh, jeez, oh, Wicca. Create a ten barrier on all enemies or lose ten. I can tell you, current HP. I'll, I'll sooner lose some of my HP. I don't want to be. Um, giving them any more barrier than I've already got. Because this one here. The one in the middle, the deformed peasant. He's, he's already got 29 barrier, and I don't want to be giving him any more than he's already got. Um, yeah, I'm not giving you 10 barrier. Alright, let's get the golem. A bit more health, there we go. 
The abomination just sat here, just slowly powering up. Uh, promote a minion. Uh, let's promote the golem. Let's activate the golem. Then we are going to use, of course, that ultimate ability on the golem. There you go, get your health up. And uh, throw a barrier on myself. And activate the abomination. Oh, gorgeous. So I do know the stone golem when you go against it. It is one tough customer. It is really tough. Uh, let's activate the pay. We'll throw that into the golem. We'll activate the fey again. And then, of course, like the abomination, just do the little happy slap. Hey, oh, barrier's gone now, isn't it? Buster. Right, abomination, you can get a nice little promotion. We'll promote you again. And again. Constantly getting stronger. Ooh. Gorgeous. Uh, what have we got? Uh, activate minion. We'll activate the Fey. Um, abomination. Do your thing. Oh, jeez, that one uh, looked like it stung. Oh, oh we've got gain ten damage this turn. I'll lose fifty armor. Yeah, I'm not losing fifty armor. I'm not doing it. Um, let's use the ultimate. There we go. Uh, activate minion. We'll do the golem. Give him a bit more health. Give ten barrier to ourselves. And then activate the abomination, and you are all gone. Gorgeous. Level four. Wow, we didn't get any weird stones. That's kind of weird. Uh, right. So what have we got? Pick a new card. We got reduce the enemy's damage by seventy-five percent for three turns. That could actually be handy. Summon a golem at level 3. Doesn't really matter because we can use the Fey. Promote a minion by 2 levels. Uh, that could be good, but the chances of getting it is probably pretty slim. Uh, could be handy. Funeral stone could. Uh, funeral moon, moon, should I say, could be handy against a stone golem. What do we got? Oh. Cracked Ethel common. And the weapon slot, it increases your damage by 5% this turn. And the uh, armor slot, it gives you 10 armor. Okay, I will be putting that in the armor slot then. Give me uh, 10 armor. Thank you very much. That was very handy. The armed wanderer. He holds one weapon in his hand and has one weapon on his back. This strikes you as a bit excessive. Unless he's a travelling weaponsmith. The blood covering his leather jerkin is not his own. It seems he can take care of himself. Before you get any stupid ideas, I used to be a master at arms at Halfway. Trained many young warriors there. If you've gold to spare, I could teach you a thing or two. I've only got 127. Uh, learn a new skill, get one out of three advanced cards, okay. <coughs> right, so cleansing, offer 10% of max HP, 8, and gain one barrier equal to the lost HP and invoke two abominations. Uh, offer 5% of your max HP, 4, gain a barrier on all minions and yourself equal to twice lost HP and invoke a fey. Or activate all minions. Uh, mm, 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 mm. That could be good. Invoking some minions and instantly activate their powers. Invoke can be played once per combat. Activate all minions. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with that. Well, I'd definitely help seeing him, didn't it? Eh? Don't know what that is over there. Pack 
lack of enemies, uh, then let's go, because I want to go to here, the hunting grounds. Alright. Uh, let's bring in an abomination, and let's increase the power of our golem, and activate the small abomination, just to give him a little love tap, as you do. Let's give ourselves a bit of barrier. Reduce the enemy's damage for three turns. I'm not really fussed about that, to be, to be honest. Give ourselves a bit of a barrier. And activate you again, just to give him another little happy slap. Do need to try and get a Fey. Fey and heal it for... Alright, let's do that to the golem. The cat constantly meowing. Let's fight. Let's uh, promote you. Um, let's activate the fight actually, just to get this up. It's only by one, but every single one makes an absolute difference. Um, promote the fight. We'll activate it. Throw that back into it, and uh, we'll give ourselves a bit of a barrier. And then. Uh, Activate the uh, abomination there just to keep trying to get hits in. Blood rush, activate all minions. All right, go for it. That should go up. Yeah, it didn't go up by a lot though. Oh, now it did. Let's promote the big boy golem. the Fey again. Okay, back up to three. Just need to get the Fey promoted a couple more times. But wow, your, your hits uh, are getting dangerously high. Uh, activate you, just to get in a couple of hits. Uh, throw up a barrier on the Golem. Let's promote the Abomination and get in some hits. Just you left, buddy. How much life are you left on? 5%. You're not going to have that 5% for long with the... Oh, I was just about to say the recoil. Nice. That's 71 health. Let's go to the hunting grounds. The local hunters. Uh, let's risk sleeping. We know what this normally says. We've heard it a few times now. Jeez, I hate this thing in the middle. Right there, I absolutely hate that. Uh, next hit does 75 for less damage or lose 100 armor. Oh, jeez. I uh, don't want to lose 100 armor, though. Yeah, I'm, I've, I can't afford to do that. Increase the minion's attack. Uh, and it's HP. That'll be you. Promote you. And promote you again. And then increase your damage by 50%. And is there's not really any point in activating you, because you just heal yourself and you've not really been damaged, so. Uh, Blood Rush, activate all minions. Give myself a barrier. Throw out a worm. And just get the worm to attack, because it's got to be over a certain amount of damage to hit that thing. Oh, Faye. There we go. That's what I wanted. Uh, your damage ain't that bad, but you're gonna buff. I'll give myself a bit of a barrier, I think. But let's activate the Faye, as we normally do. And activate it again. Okay. Right, you're getting pounded, buddy. You're getting pounded. Uh, well, we're not really getting any any luck, are we? Um, let's activate your ability again. Let's try and get that up to two at least. Oh, three. Nice. Throw that back into you. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a poor goal on my barrier. 
is getting pounded by these these two here, one in the left and the center. Lose 25 armor of two turns. If not played next turn, lose 75% damage. Jeez, come on, cards. Uh, let's just reduce their damage, because your damage is just, just ridiculous. Um, activate the Fey. And we'll throw that into the worm. Uh, activate all minions. Uh, let's activate the golem. And we'll use that card to activate all of them. And I can throw that straight back into the golem. And <laughs> then heal himself. Of having those cards that we had last time, of like self healing, self awareness, and things like that, they definitely helped. Uh, I need to reduce your damage because that is just ridiculous. Right, throw two barriers on myself because that's going to bloody hurt. Uh, activate the Fey. Throw that on the Golem. Is it Golem or Golem? Hmm. Activate all minions. Uh, promote minion. Oh, activate you. Actually, we'll activate your ability, ability, ability again. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Throw up a barrier on myself because this golem's getting absolutely slammed at the minute. The cards we did have last time really, really did make a difference. Next hit does 75% less damage, whatever. I cannot risk losing that much bloody armor. Uh, we're going to promote you, then activate the Fae. And throw them in to the golem. Yeah, the golem not being able to self heal. Activate all minions. Put you into the worm. There we go. Reduce enemies. That look at this. Thirty-four damage to forty-six. That is ridiculous. The worm is supposed to be all powerful, but I'm not really seeing it at the minute, in all fairness. Let's throw up another golem. Activate the worm. Hey Mr. P, how your day going? My day's go my day's going good, Corey. Thanks, buddy, for asking. Uh, how's your day going, mate? Hope you're having a great day. Wow, we're getting slammed. I'm gonna have to use all three of these just for barriers because we're getting absolutely pummeled. Right, that's one down. You can't keep healing on now. That's a good thing. They suck. Uh, increase your health. Oh, Golem, that's definitely going to help you out. Increase your damage. We'll put that on the worm. Uh, next hit does... I am not losing that much. I am not doing that. That is ridiculous. Next hit does 75% less damage or you lose 100 armor. And it costs 2 energy to use. Suck a fart. There's no way I'm doing that. Uh, promote minion will do you. Well, wormy boy. Right, is that really on one? Come on now. What's going on here? Uh, activate minion. You're dead. Alright. We definitely need better stuff. 
forget two skills or restore health. Restore health, please. That would uh, be great. Back up to 80. Uh, oh, there's something that's shiny over there. Let's just go over there, actually. Let's like a weird candle first. Uh, good. And let me just widen that. Uh, good. And as of right now, not good because we are playing Vanguard Zombies and it sucks. I'd rather die a lot on multiplayer than play this boys. Ah, right. Yeah. Uh, I, honestly, I don't mind zom playing zombies and all that. But it does get a bit repetitive after a while, you know. I do like playing it, but... Uh, activate minion. Activate. And activate. Come on, put me up to turn. Oh, sneaky git. Alright. So it's gain 50% damage or gain 10 armor if not played. I'd soon have gained the 10 armor. Um, throw a barrier up. And another one. And reduce the enemy's damage. It's not really that high at the minute. Promote the Fae. And then we'll activate it. Use the ultimate ability. Put back on the Fae. But yeah, I do agree with you though, buddy. I would sooner die a lot in like campaign or things like that than constantly just keep dying on multiplayer on uh, on zombies increase the hp of you uh, increase your damage thank you very much uh, activate all minions and we can use that to throw back into the golem and we'll activate the ability of you Still on one though, that's the thing. Mm. Main, not man. Yeah. Uh, like the main mission is not even out yet, and it makes it super boring. There's not much you're doing, it just sucks. Yeah, some games can be a bit like that. A, a bit like that. But uh, let's throw up a barrier on the old golem, bless him. Um, let's reduce the damage of you because you suck. Now we'll activate the Fey to three. Thank you very much. Throw that back into you. And now you've done that, we can uh, activate you again, hopefully. Oh, nearly there. Oh, nearly there. So, what's your go to then when you're playing the old uh, COD then, and, um, Corey? What's your go to? Throw that into you. Uh, promote you. Throw up a barrier. Activate you. Activate you again. Try and get that up. The old uh, health of the poor thing. Poor golem. What? Sorry, I was doing. It's all. It's all good, buddy. Uh, do one hit or gain twenty plus twenty-five damage. I uh, do one hit to you. Bang. Activate all fae. Activate all fae. All minions. Uh. Uh, well, first, I'll do that. We'll put that into the golem. And we'll promote the golem. And again. I'm not really doing that much damage in all fairness. It's just the... Uh, you know, the, the direct hit. So let's bring out a worm. Get the old worm out to play. Start powering him up. Right, let's start to the golems down. Golem is down. I repeat, the golem is down. Increase HP. We'll do that for the worm. Um, bring out an abomination. Why not? Activate the worm. And throw that straight back into the worm. Activate it again. T 
to me the worms don't seem that powerful in all fairness we'll power it up summon a golem activate the worm again gotcha uh, what did you say about what do I Oh, well, you know, basically in the actual game, what what's your weapons preference? What kind of maps? Well, anybody watching this, really, whether it be Facebook now, YouTube later on. All right, so we've got self-aware at the start of each promote the minion. Yes, please. Yes, please. I want you self-aware. Thank you. When a phase activated, heal your HP. Heal yourself by five. When a phase activated. Oh, Start the combat. After summoning, activate the summon minion. Uh, start the combat with 20 barrier or if, whenever we activate a fade, we can heal ourselves. That is good because we always do it. <laughs> we always do it. All right, what have we got? Training ground. Come. Train if you feel like it. Train if These may be like mere it. illusions, but they hit and kill, just like the real versions. Uh, I want a challenge. We managed to do this last time, but it was with a different. Jeez, you're a big boy. Damn, you big. Gain twenty damage or gain five armor. I'm gonna leave that. We'll gain five armor. Um. I haven't really got anything. Let's increase your HP. Increase your damage. Um, uh, I'm definitely going to need a barrier on me, that's for sure. use that one Anna. it's not gonna do anything uh, I like small and that little big and uh, gun it's LMG assault rifles and that's pretty much it ah the heck is that thing bloodstone this enemy will heal its allies oh geez that sucks I reduce the enemy's damage your jeez oh, you... this one here sucks here this uh, faceless hunter, he sucks. So let's uh, slap your attack down. Bring out a Fae. Promote the Fae. Activate a Fae, heal 5 health. There we go, beautiful. And let's promote him. So every time we activate a Fae, we're going to heal 5 health. That's definitely a good thing. Jeez, we're gonna get absolutely pummeled. And you suck. This is just gonna keep healing the damn things. And wow, enemy. The hits deal 24 to 30. Uh, self aware. Um, activate minion. Bluey, shush. Uh, she's on heat at the moment, so she's uh, not too happy. Loud and proud. Jeez, oh, Faye's already... Faye's already gone. I mean... I know what I meant. Uh... Activate... Increase your HP. Bluey shush. Shush. Constant meowing. That's all we get. Bluey shush. Shush. Because you get louder every time you meow. You, I hate. Constantly... Gets more and more and more hits. Oh, Golem, about time. Increase your damage. My health absolutely sucks. Faye, we need you. Uh, 
there, yeah, you're probably going to get absolutely slammed. Alright, well, we hope you have a wonderful stream, Mr. P, and have a good night. Thanks, Corey. Enjoy the rest of your night, buddy. Stay safe, mate. Stay safe. Uh, let's reduce your damage, because you suck. Activate all minions. Activate minion. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm going to need a barrier on me. Uh, activate the Fae. Throw that into the worm. Hmm. Seem to be struggling a bit with the cards that we've got. Hey, you got a feeling we're gonna die in a minute. Keep promoting the worm. I need to throw up a barrier. I've got to do something. Activate the minion, because we're getting slammed. Land seven attacks. You're taking it seven attacks. Right, bring out a Fay. Uh, let's activate the Fay. We're going to get absolutely pummeled. Uh, let's promote the golem. We've only got 18 health. This guy here, the Faceless Hunter, hits eight times now. Eight times! And this thing on the right hand side hasn't even hit yet. Right, bear with me one second. I've just got to go sort these dogs out because they're just constantly barking. Bear with me one second.
Oh, sorry about that. Dogs wanted to go out. Who would have known? Alright, so let's crack on. Alright. I will not a new class of Sentinel. These cards are passing and will be available over the course of the runs. Cosmetic items are added to the wardrobe of accessible by the seamstress. Okie dokie. So let's start over. Two more healing, healing potions I think will be more beneficial. But, uh... Sentinel. Let's, let's just go with a weird hunter. Uh... Passive skill. Uh, no. You're, can I change your passive skill? More details. Alright. Uh, let's try the original then. <laughs> Bluey shush. Bluey really doesn't like not being able to go out at the moment. She's not long had kittens. Don't really want more kittens. <laughs> and let's go out. Let's light a weird candle as we go out. Alright. Let's go down here. Who are you? You're the idiot that constantly, constantly gets more. T oh, now kittens got. Mama P's wool. Jeez, these cats. I swear, the kittens. They're on a rampage. Mama P does a bit of crochet and she has some wool. One of the kittens literally just jumped up. It's like, that's my wool now. So, great. Alright, so we've got stuns and blocks. Go try and remember some of these. Right, so you're gonna hit five to six. No, you're not gonna block here. Uh, I'm gonna get three strikes in there, an overhead hit, and get your armor reduced. Blocked it. Right, so you're gonna do two more attacks. What's this? Still a random enemy. Yes, please. And we'll do three random hits, an overhead strike, get your armor down again to 20. Nice. Alright, you don't seem so difficult right now going against this class. Uh, deal one hit and get your armor down. Down to 30. Minus 30. Oh, beautiful. Uh, you're not going to hit us because we're going to block it. And we're going to hit you for 10, 10, 15. Let's say for raw power, this class is good. Uh, don't need to st Actually, might need to stun you. I don't want to get. Let's see if we can get all the way through this one without getting hurt. Uh, let's hit you for that. And then, use the passive skill. Bang, you're down. Alright. That one was pretty good. Uh, so, pick a new card. So, we've got Storm of Blades. Deal four hits for 100% damage to random enemies. Uh, counter, gain one block for each enemy alive. Or rage every turn until the end of the combat. Increase your damage by 25% and offer 10 armor. That's not really good because that's gonna suck. Deal four hits. Deal four hits. Uh, pick a new passive skill. What do we got? Increase the maximum damage you deal by five. Unused block lasts for one additional turn. Increase damage against vulnerable enemies. Increase damage. That's Really good, and by 50%, but I'd like to be able to keep blocks. I think keeping blocks would be, well, for one additional turn anyway, is good. Right, so we've got a milestone here. Uh, let's extinguish it and receive a weir candle. Thank you very much. Who are you? You are the treasure guardian. Why not? This is probably going to be difficult. This is where I could do with that trap card that I did have. Reduce all enemies damage by 10% this turn. Okie dokie. Uh, you do the most damage, so I'm gonna stun you. Uh, stun or blaze, deal four hits to random enemies. Yes, please. 
Thank you. Wow, you got 240 odd energy. Wow. Ow, 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 ow. I need to get rid of you first. Uh, four to six, eight to twelve. I'm taking that one. Bang, then you go. Uh, what are you left on? Thirty-one. Uh, next hit does a hundred percent damage. Four hits for foot sixteen to twenty-four to random enemies. Yes, please. Bang, bang, bang. Um. Three to four. Yeah, not worth uh, hitting that. Oh, jeez, not you. You suck. Bluey, be quiet. Uh, block. Block. We'll hit you. And can this do over eight? No, it doesn't. Oh, jeez. Pummeled by his attack. Um, create a 10 barrier for all enemies. No! It's difficult enough as it is. I'm not putting more barrier on. I'm sucker fat. Uh, three random small strikes. Seriously, you could have hit that one. Come on now. Oh, jeez, you suck. Uh, you're gonna hit twice. Uh, block and block. Just hit you. Because we really need like the trap cards and that that we originally had. That would really bloody help. And I'm stunning you because yours is just OP. And uh, let's reduce your armor. That's what you can do is a damn joke. I'm on 11 health. 11! Storm of Blades, you're not really bloody helping. And uh, let's just three random hits. Uh, yes. We're gonna get pummeled. We've got 11 health. The cars just are not kind to us right now on this one. I mean, if we can't even beat this one, what hope in hell's chance do we have taking on a golem? I mean, that was... Just... There's gotta be a way. You unlock all these passive skills. Let me pick one of them. Look, because the Weird Hunter, let me pick a passive skill. I want to be able to change passive skills. How do you do that? I want two more weird candles. But how do you do it? I want to change my passive skill. I've unlocked them. Is this it? Passives. Right, it. So I've got all these passive skills. These, do I use all of these, or...? Ah, it, it, it's weird. I don't... I don't get it. Because I've unlocked all these passive skills for, you know, the weird hunter. But... Why can I not select one of these? Um, that I, I just don't understand. Don't understand it. We, we need better cards like we had last time with the trap card. That was so bloody handy. They hit you once, you know, and... Oh, blacksmith, have you As got you anything? Approached. I swear on my name. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't matter. His eyes. Oh, he, it he's really pissed off with somebody. What matters is that you've invited me to your village, and I can now hammer away in peace and safety. Oh. Okay. No, oh, can't do that. Can't do that. <laughs> uh, for the first time in combat, increase your... For the first turn in combat. No. 
In the first time of combat, gain plus 75 armor. Come on, leave cables alone. Kittens. Increase max HP or reduce armor of all enemies by 10. I want that. Um, bear with me one second. Will you leave cables alone, kitten? Jeez, kittens! Gotta love them, but jeez. What a pain in the back end. Alright, so rune stones. Increase our, our max HP by 30. Okay. Alright, so we need to go that way. And just try and fight anything we can find. Uh, what now for you? You look a giant. Oh. oh, the one with the swords and things in it. Unless you got 80, so you're there. We're just gonna block, overhead strike, and small strikes. That was blocked, right? So we need to. I would say block, huh? <laughs> Uh, draw one card and increase its cost by one. Yeah, that's not happening. Uh, small strikes deal three hits. Deal one hit. Now what's this? 25 to 38. Got gotcha. you. Nice. Alright, so draw. Draw four cards. Crippling attack deal one hit for 75% damage. Uh, if the enemy intends to attack slash stun it, add cleave to every attack. Deals 20% of damage to all other enemies. Ooh, yes please. I will take that. Alright, uh, uh, what have we got? Position of power. Whenever you apply vulnerable for the first time in a turn, reduce the random cards cost by 2 energy. Uh, first hit in combat deals 200% damage. Or start every... Every combat with an additional two energy oh yes please additional two energy will be very appreciative uh, what are you before I get too close just a pack of enemies you're too strong at the moment I think we'll uh, hold up oh what's that whoa what a candle maker candle maker Right, let's actually boost its range of time. I won't take the candle. What have we got over here? Treasure Guardians. Yeah, we got our ass kicked last time. Please go around there. Don't go into the golems thing. Oh, let's go in here and see what's what. See if we can uh, make anything of this. Uh, you're not going to hit us anyway. Tainted force. Increase armor of all enemies by 52 turns. If not played, draw three cards less. Really? Sucker fat. I'd sooner not draw three cards. So we're just going to attack you, get you out of the way. There we go. Um, you know, we might as well just use that. Might as well just use it just to get it out of the darn way. And still no blocks. Uh, great. I cleave to every hit this turn. Try and get you out of the way. Because you hit for like 20 plus every time. Two to four, eight. Oh, Jesus. Oh, not even worth doing, is it? And now you're going to change. Oh, no. Enemy intends to attack everyone on the battlefield and buff. Yeah, of course you do. Uh, three random strikes. Uh, Chucking you down and out of the way. There we 
we are, what's this? 26 to 40. Get rid of you. Because his hits are so damn powerful. Alright, so I've just got to deal with this thing. Do a block. Overhead swing. And hit for 10 to 16. And three random hits. There we go. Bluey shush. Jeez, Bluey. Uh, what? Block, 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 stun. Don't want me hitting, does it? That was a, a bit silly. Bluey shush. There are old customs that protect the traveling priests of the All Mother. The one you see before you, walking through the weirdness at a brisk, confident pace, doesn't seem to realize or care that this protection is unlikely to extend here. Mm. Oh yeah, we got them uh, the bouquet of flowers, didn't we? Uh, well, wasn't exactly you flowers. You showed us the bouquet you received from the florist. This is probably the most disgusting thing I've seen in my life, and trust me, I've seen a lot. Please take it away. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Honestly, I'm Before not surprised. Before you have a chance to ask her for anything, something leaps out of the weirdness. Oh, jeez, really? Need to get rid of the middle guy, the faceless hunter, as soon as possible. I need to get rid of him. Hundred hit damage. Um, I've got three energy left. Well, one hit and reduce. One hit and reduce. Let's hit the center guy. Let's hit this guy again. Need to get him out of the way. Need to get the the faceless hunter, the middle one, out of the way. Cause every turn. He constantly hits you again and more and more and more. So I'm going to stun him. There we go. And uh, let's just hit him whilst he's stunned. And then you can only hit once again. <laughs> uh, add cleave to every hit. There we go. Up the ante. Three random hits. Jeez, I hate these. Hate these things. Uh, seven to eleven, nine to thirteen. Nine to thirteen. I need to get rid of the centre guy. We need to get rid of the middle one. Because now we can attack twice. The next time we'll attack three times. Increase damage of all enemies. I'll lose two energy next turn. I am not. No way in hell am I doing that. Uh, you're gonna do low nine, ain't you? I knew it'd do nine. Um, I just have to throw in a block. That's only gonna block one. Not blocking his bloody attacks, but now we can attack three times because it just loves giving us the attack cards. When you don't need block cards, it constantly gives you blocks. Between eight and twelve, it'll probably do nine or ten. Oh, thirteen! Wow, you have surprised me. That was uh, surprising. That red death, get out of it. Alright, let's doze up. Three hits. Um, I need to get rid of these bloody cars. They keep, they keep infecting my deck. And they're really annoying because they keep popping up. Bugger off. Add cleave to every hit this turn. Yes, please. We'll hit you with that. And I'm going to hit you again with that. Alright, just this one left on 39 health, and I'm on 4. Oh, scab, look, my deck's been infected again. 
Alright, 100% ability. Three hits. Bang, bang, bang. 10 to 15, 10 to 15. You know it's going to leave me with like one energy left. Oh, wow. Exactly on. Exactly on. Alright, stronghold. Gain 20 armor for the next three turns. That's a chain effect. Reduce damage dealt by all enemies by 30%. Gain three blocks next turn off of one energy. Oh, yeah. I'd, I'd love to gain three Praise blocks. Praise the mother. I'm glad you're here. All right. I want to settle this once and for all. If all mother is still with us, she will protect... Mm. If not, I'd rather die anyway. Now let me be on my way and you go on yours. With my blessing. No, what are you Luckily, doing out here? she reveals that she went into the weirdness of her own free will. It's crazy. Ever since we landed on Avalon, I've seen so much evil. Men killing each other for a slice of bread. Parents drowning their children so that their cries don't draw a weird spawn. It's... It's so hard to believe the mother still watches over us. Ooh. I'm on a pilgrimage. Trying to visit all of the shrines raised throughout these lands in the name of the All Mother. You realize that with the world being in constant flux, stuck between various times and realities, her pilgrimage will probably never end. You tell her that since your journey will take you to various places anyway, you might as well help out. You can see that she's exhausted but grateful. Here. Yeah. It's an incense blessed by the High Priestess. Use it to perform a ritual at all of the All Mother's altars you can find. And hope that, in time, we'll be able to purify and shield them from corruption. Okay. I'm too um. far away from the altar to cast spells like that. I can give you some potions or teach you a certain technique, though. It's uh, your choice. I'll sort of take the potions, thanks. Free healing mixtures! Oh, yes, please. Candle maker. Oh. Don't put the me choking in there. stench oh, of tallow lovely. permeates the air. The candle maker's house stands alone within the weirdness. The inquisitive tendrils held at bay by dozens of flickering weird candles. There are many grisly tales about candle makers who secretly made their candles out of people they were supposed to protect. Inside, the candle maker leans heavily on his cast iron mold, barely managing to stay awake. Jeez. So fast! Oh, why do they burn out so fast? Oh, perhaps if I... No. I may need both later. It takes a while for him to notice you. The candles aren't snuffed out, are they? You're not one of the weird spawn. Doesn't matter. I can't sell you any anyway. I barely make enough to keep myself alive out here. Okay. It doesn't Jump take much village. to convince him. Lead the way. I'd like to be in a place where I don't have to use all my goods myself. And where the ingredients to make them are easier to obtain. His last words almost make you regret your decision. Okay. You're gonna be that stupid bull thing, aren't you? Yes, you are. All right, let's attack this thing. Do need to try and build up the cards. Uh, last resort, gain three blocks next turn off of one energy. Yeah, it's not happening. Uh, hit you, get your armor down. There you go. Put a block up as well, and then we'll attack. Because it's going to redirect anyway to you. I don't know why the hell I did that. Uh, stun an enemy. Stun you. You're not using your next attack. Thank you very much. Uh, next hit does more damage. Overhead swings. 
Deals three hits to a random enemy. Well, that's all you anyway. Um, one energy left. Have we already blocked? No, I haven't. Let's block that attack. And four to six, eight to twelve. Yeah, I think we'll wait on the old uh, ability. I cleave to every hit. We'll do that. We'll hit you for that, and then we'll do three, eight to twelve damage. Bang, bang, bang. Really, all them smart. Two to four. Really, really. You suck. Alright, we need two blocks. Getting absolutely destroyed. Um need to reduce your damn armor. Ten to sixteen. Need to get rid of you. So we've got two blocks. Great, bleeding need them. Um, two blocks again. Um, I don't want random hits though. I need to get this middle one out of the way. Uh, no blocks. <sighs> you just suck. Right, I'm gonna have to do that. I need bloody blocks. That is just ridiculous. Overhead swings, small strikes. And between six and nine, you know it's not gonna be eight. Seven. You just know it. Two blocks. Uh, between eight and twelve. Need to get you out of the way. And one block and random strikes. What are you? Four to six. Not powerful enough. But I think you get one block, so. From one more block. Next hit does more damage. Three random hits. Nice. Between 8 and 12. 21 to 31. Let's slap him with that one. Probably be 20 odd. Yep. It's never really right near the top end, which is pretty annoying. Alright, let's hit this back up. Let's slap this guy out of the way. Get out of it. Uh, so we got we've got a common cracked man in a weapon slot. Increase everyone's damage by ten percent. Is does that include their damage though, or is that just uh, uh, is that <coughs> sorry about is that just our damage by ten percent, or is that our damage and the enemy's damage is increased by ten percent? It doesn't really. Say, does it? Really? An incense blessed by the high priestess. Uh, I need some of these potions. A hideous bouquet, that is just disgusting. What is this? Oh, my bells. Oh, 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 what are you? Marketplace. I don't like this guy. This guy sucks. But that blood altar could give us something decent. Right, I need to get rid of uh, this guy on the left first, the faceless hunter. Uh, deal one hit uh, or gain ten damage. I'm dealing a big nice hit to this guy over here first. And then I'm going to block him, block again, and slam two overhead swings. There we go. Bang, bang, bang. Alright. 
Recruit three blocks the next turn. Hit does more damage. Three hits between eight and thirteen. I'll take that. Block, block. Nice. Uh, overhead swings. Let's get your armor down there, big fella. Next hit does more damage. Couldn't constantly get a block, but now this guy on the left can do four attacks. Jeez. I need three blocks in the next one, that's for sure. Uh, next hit does 100% damage, and we'll do a overhead swing and get your defense down again, or your armor, should I say. Alright, let's. Uh, 18 to 28, 13 to 20. Well, let's try and get rid of this guy. There we go, right, he is out of the way. He is the one that does the most dam damage. Being able to constantly hit you more and more and more every time. Uh, you're going to hit us between 13 and 17. No, no, you're not. Let's put that block in. Um, we'll throw in a block. I'm going to do some overhead strikes. Get his base armor down. We'll uh, slap him again, there we go. What have we got? Four to six. Uh, oh jeez, that was a nice one. Three hits, he's down. Nice. Happy about that. Hopefully we get a card. Yes, we do. So, pick a new card. Uh, reposition. Discard your hand, draw four cards. Stunning shout, stun all enemies with no or negative armor. Alright, I'll rush. Half a 5% of your HP and draw one card and its cost reduced by one this turn. Uh, discard your hand and draw four cards. I'll take that. Uh, beginner's lock, block every second hit received in a turn. Offensive. Whenever you hit an enemy, increase your armor by seven this turn. Uh, in a turn, in a turn. Do play every fifth attack type card played. Uh, block every second hit in a turn. Mm. Might help. So early explorers of Avalon found many springs with supernatural properties, including the ones that could could heal. Oh, that's good. Here you we go. Feel Whee! refreshed. Nice. However, you feel a strange chill running down your spine like an icy finger. It might not be safe to stay here any longer. I run 84 health. Yeah, I don't want to risk it. Last time we stayed, we got pummeled. Uh, pack of enemies at the market. We can try this. Don't know how well this one's going to go. Oh wow, look at all these blocks and stuns. And one attack. What is this? And we've got five five energy for this turn. Uh, well, we might as well block. Block. Get three blocks next turn. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, what's the chances of having so many damn blocks? Weird candle. Stun a random enemy. Yes! I would have preferred to have stunned you, but... Um, got one energy. Uh, let's attack you. We've got between three and five. Three and five. Okay. Oh, warp light seeker. Of course you are. Uh, reposition, discard your hand. Um, no, I'm going to do broad reach. We'll do actually, no. Small strikes. We'll do overhead swing, actually, will we? 10 to 15, 5 to 7, but it does get their armor down. Let's put your armor down. Vulnerable, of course you are. Alright, 41. Let's 
Let's actually use this card and get four brand new cards. That, that suck. Oh, let's hit you. We know it's not going to be 41. So I'm considering though, that was pretty good. Pretty much at the high end. Oh jeez, look at all these stuns and blocks. Not one attack. Them blocks. Where, where are all my attacks? Uh, oh, game three blocks, and I'm not getting attacked by you. That's for sure. Uh, small strikes. Just you left. And I do have three blocks, so I will attack. Uh, let's just attack. Attack. Reposition. Let's get some new cards in. Why not? Just to use the energy. Uh, we'll block your attack. Hit three times. You're done. Have. Do you know what he needed? He needed some Mr. P's. Suck a fat one. Soup. There, there we go. <laughs> he needed. The soup. Um, did we get any card from that? No cards from that. The investment is going to be worth it. I promise. Currently invested. How much would you like to invest? She's none. Small sum. Currently invested two hundred. It better be worth it. But five grand is a lot of bloody money. Um. Take a risk and drink more. I need to try. I'm on. Was it 66 health? Uh, you're the one that annoys me the most. Uh, deal one hit. I'm not losing 50 damage, so hit you. Um, I'm gonna stun you because you're not gonna heal anybody. Uh, add cleave to the next turn, and we will hit the middle one. Sleeper, because he sucks. He really does suck. Uh, let's get rid of you so you're not healing anybody. Just constantly attack. Sometimes the best form of defense is attack, and no, I'm not shuffling my cards when I can't use any. Uh, I need a block. We'll do small strikes. You're alive, we're going to do two hits, so I'll throw up another block. Between 15 and 23, 15, 23, 17, 25, let's slap you around a bit. There we go, you're on 17 left, nice. You're dead. Uh, you're on 52. Um, let's slap you around for a minute. Three small strikes. Get your armor down. I'm between nine and fourteen. Might as well. Slap. Leaves him on ten. He's gonna hit us for nineteen. But it uh, doesn't matter, you dead. So it was on thirty three uh, sixty six health again, or something like that, the was spring it? Runs dry. Got a hundred and seven health. Oh, all the way back up. Oh, that is beautiful. Alright, so now I've got that, that thing. Ask for a blessing. Extinguish, extinguish the milestone. Banish the weirdness around the milestone. Milestone? The heck? Um. The candles are good, though. The candles are good. Is minus run is run to minus heal boost damage or oh, or oh, boost um just you lost no health that was it you suck stray creature well why not let's go for it 
I need to try and just get my cards up. Uh, reposition. Uh, do you? And broad strike, and then 16 to 25, or get your armor down. Get your armor down. And then attack, and attack. Uh, we'll throw in one block. What's this? Next hit does 75 less damage or lose 100. Yeah, not losing 100 armor. You can suck a fat. No way am I losing 100 armor. Uh, so, last resort, get three blocks. Next hit does more damage. Three strikes between 6 and 10. Ooh. 10 to 15, we'll just slap them around with that. Leave them on 11. Fly, get lost. Uh, let's do that, you're dead. So weird stones, what are these actually for? Currency owned in various places, used to buy permanent upgrades in various places. Okay. Let's uh, light a new candle. What do we got? Let's go around here. These candles really don't last that long. Armed Wanderer. We're not going to be able to beat you. That's the thing. You suck. Bluey, don't start. Go lay down. Treasure Guardians. Jeez. Right, let's go this side. Don't want to go in their circle, that's for sure. Uh, pack of enemies. You're probably going to suck just as bad. What have we got over here? Is this the hanging tree or something? I don't know. Oh. Pack of enemies. Bluey, come over here. Come on. There's no point in meowing near the door. There's nothing there. There's no cats outside. Nothing. Just the dogs. Silly animal. Right, let's just slap these around. There we go. There we are. Now that's a lot of damage. Now why don't my abominations look like that? Um, what are we going to do? We'll throw down a block. Next hit does more damage. There we go. Bluey, I'm going to put you in that hallway in a minute. Now shush. For the past week and a bit. Nearly two weeks you've just constantly been meowing. Constantly. Uh, we're going to stun you. Then we're going to slap you around and get your armor down. Yes. Um, let's throw down a block. And we'll attack and attack. Yes. Are you going to give me any cards? Going to give me any cards? A ruined home. You noticed the ruins of a... And down. Going to have to go There's to the no short fat man's room in a minute. The old... Uh, during the war. Set a light out Short of fat man needs toilet. Or simply burned down due to an unfortunate accident. Mm, I bet it was. Look for valuables. Use the door on the right. And warning law. Create 20 barrier. Okay. Alright, well bear with me one second. I'm just going to go to the toilet so I'll be right back.
sorry about that. I am back. Uh, I am just going to leave my camera off for a while. I'm just going to have a quick cigarette, but I'm still going to be here and we're still going to crack on. So let's get back into it. Right. So we did search the house, didn't we? Yes. Yes. What are you? What is this here? This is probably going to get us absolutely destroyed. Deep within the oh. weirdness, you cross paths with an elderly knight who's clearly trying to scare you away with an angry expression. He doesn't look all that scary, although his armor was definitely crafted by a competent blacksmith. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah, I know what that means. Hmm. Well, that's kind of, uh, weird. Hmm. Okay. Still have more of us this little dark. Okay. You give him the coins. Give him it. He pockets them quickly and disappears. You're left there alone. And you don't feel blessed. You don't feel any different at all. Oh, really? Well, that was random. Bluey, shush. Oh, jeez, I've got two of these sleepers now. Uh, okay. Well, we're going to have block your attack anyway. Let's just get a couple of small strikes in there. Actually, let's do that. Sweeping stance and then attack the big boy in the middle. Hmm, what have we got? We've got a block, so let's block his attack. Do an overhead swing. Try and get one of these guys out of the way. And reduce your armor. No point in using the reposition to shuffle the cards and give us four new ones, because we didn't have any. Uh... Oh, jeez, what's this? Increase armor of all enemies by 50. No! Not a chance! Uh, I will block. Gain three blocks. And deal three hits to random enemies. Uh, you're left on 17. What's this? 1625. Please do 17. Thank you very much. It did exactly 17. Jeez, that was not the high end at all, was it? Really? But look at this sleeper now. Look, he does 26 to 31 damage. That's all. Oh, we're not going to be able to block all of the attacks. Uh, let's just hit you for 5 to 8. 6. Really? game you need to randomize these attacks a little bit better than that that's uh, a little bit silly uh, let's block cleave hit and then hit you with that your attack has been blocked we'll block your attack again um, 1421 and uh, do that there we go oh wow well, that went a bit better than I thought it would. Not much. But a bit. Alright, so pick a new card. We've got first slash. Deal one hit for 70, for 75% uh, damage. Uh, fists of stone. Deal one hit for 300 damage. Reduce enemy's armor by 25 until the end of combat. Yes, please. Uh, I'm not bothered about the blocks. We've got a fair amount of blocks as it is. 
Cursed healer. You hear someone screaming nearby. Godless healing. Godless healing. Mm -hmm. Intrigued, you approach the source of the sound. It turns out to be a joyful man advertising his merchandise to the nearest trees. Who said you need an all mother or a stag father to have a blessing of health? Let's not dwell on them anymore. It's all mm. about potions and elixirs and other trinkets infused with proper. His monologue goes on. Oh, jeez, okay. You can see tiny horns growing from his skull. His mind clearly isn't quite right either. Maybe disrespecting the gods wasn't such a great idea after all. Okay, well, what's he got in his shop, though? We've, only, we've not got a lot of money, though. Healing mixtures. Jeez, uh, we ain't got a lot there at all, are we, sir? Okay. Treasure pile. I don't think we're going to be able to take them on, but... Do you know what? We're going to try and take on the golem. The stone golem. Uh, probably not powerful enough to do it, but... Legendary encounter. Let's go for it. It's been long enough now. And we got no blocks. No blocks. Yeah, we are re repositioning. Draw four cards. I, I need some blocks. Come on now. Right. Thank you. Block. Block. Uh, Game three blocks next turn. And attack. Wasn't a lot, but coming against the legendary and all of it, it just screws you over and doesn't give you any blocks. Come on now. Alright, throwing the camera back on. There we go. The short fat man is back. <coughs> uh, I'm going to gamble. Don't know exactly what that did, but. Oh, that didn't help. Uh, let's stun him. And. Uh, just three random hits. This bloody little thing down here can hit. Uh, game three blocks next turn. And uh, let's block again. So that's four blocks. Okay. Uh, reduce your armor, my friend. There we go. Thank you very much. Uh, what have we got? Four to sit. Oh, wow. That's a dreadful. But we do have the blocks. Thank you very much. Uh, so what is a gamble? Gain one block and one energy. Draw one card. Offer ten armor until the end of combat. Okay. Um... Wow, the car look at these cards. Where's the blocks? This is not the best. Reduce enemy's armor by 25% until the end of combat. Get down on the old big guy. Uh, 10 to 15, 22 to 33, 15 to... Tw oh, jeez. We've only got one block. He's got to have to pummel us. Risk, what's this? Stun the golem, lose 10 armor until the end of combat. Okay, uh, let's stun you. Um, do, do, do. Let's increase the damage. Oh, geez, there's two of them stone things at the side of him now, though. That's that's the uh, deal of damage. Just, let's just try and hit. Got no blocks, so that's the only worrying thing. I've got no blocks. I've got one there, but that's only going to block one attack. I'm going to have to block. Can't not hit. Uh, between 20 and 30. I've got to try. It's really not being very nice for these blocks. It's. I mean, again, one block. Uh, 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 oh. Between 20 and 30. I've, I've got to hit it because I can't. One block is not going to do anything. This can hit from 51 to 72. Uh, I've got a lot of blocks. You've seen, there's a load of blocks, and it's it's just not giving me blocks. 
How the hell are you supposed to defend? It's, it just doesn't give you blocks often enough. I mean, you've seen my deck, how often blocks were coming out. And then just for it to go, you know what? You're going against the golem now. We're not going to give you that many. Mmm, yeah, come on. On oh, now, that is weird, and I want to know how to do these. Whenever you hit an enemy, reduce their armor by three. I want to be able to pick one of these. Moon ring. Activate a minion. Watches the yeah, they're just different. <laughs> Start with random consumables. I might as well. Um, getting pummeled and not having the blocks is definitely difficult. Um, it, we, we need to get more blocks, but Sentinel. Sentinel focuses on shooting with arrows. Alright, well. <coughs> it's going to be difficult. We've never used this one before. And even in my other playthrough that I'm doing just like off screen on my own, I've never used this one. And, oh, you're there, are you? Hello. Ah, good to see you. There's one more thing I forgot to tell you. This place right here is where I fill the molds. You're welcome to come by here at any time. But over there... The candle maker points to a greasy, thick curtain shrouding the deeper parts of the house. That's where the... secret part of the process takes place. Do not go in there. Understand? Never. Under any circumstances. Buy and improve weir candles. Duration, 50%. Good. Upgrade. Thank you. And I promise we'll both benefit from this. Oh, great. Some candles last longer. Okay. Well, that's good. Uh, Map-related upgrades. Milestones and healing. Increase the healing power of the milestones. Oh, right, okay. Fill all NPCs on the map. Aye, okay, okay. <coughs> but I can actually buy some weird candles. That's that's pretty good. So why can't because I? Because the process that room? is complicated, and weird candles are fragile. A whole batch can be ruined in the blink of an eye. I don't want anyone, and I mean anyone, wandering around in that room. Uh -huh. uh, I know where you're going with this question. You think I use human remains to make my candles. Bollocks. He steps towards you, arms wide open. Don't know who told you such ridiculous things. But next time, I promise I'll... After some abundant cursing, he sighed. To make mm. a candle, you need fat. And a few other things you... Well, you just don't need to know about. But mostly it's fat. Now, tell me. When did you last see a well-nourished human? These hands are the only human component I need. My hands and my skill. It's enough to use one's brain for a second to understand this. Okay. I might as well tell you a bit. The other room is full of things that no sane human should witness. Remains of weird spawn aren't a pretty sight, let me tell you. Okay. But there's enough fat in them for decent candles. Also, their blood is contaminated by... Well, you'd have to ask the druids about that. Okay. Thank you for working for the greater good and our mutual benefit. 
This proves to me that you deserve to hear things that others simply wouldn't understand. The name's Luke, and I'm really glad to be here. I uh, led a peaceful life making candles for hunters and regular townsfolk. Never charged much, never had any complaints, that is, until the mayor realized that he was helpless against the threat of the weirdness. My craft, however, made me indispensable, so he made me disposable. Ooh. He turned the villages against me. All it took was a rumor that the candles are made out of those who went missing in the weirdness. And that was enough for the mob to come baying at my door. Jeez. Luckily enough, a group of performers came by, and they let me leave with them. They realized that my ability to make weird candles would be very useful on the road. But you know where you found me? In a ruined house, deep in the woods. How do you think I wound up there? Stories tend to repeat themselves. And so the man who helped me out soon noticed that I'd become irreplaceable. So... Just like the mayor, he cast me away. Poor bugger. Well, this might sound a bit paranoid, but bear with me. When I was living in the forest, I saw a face lurking within the weirdness. It was the face of the man who told me to leave the performers. It's as if he was coming to haunt me. I uh, know I can't be sure, but I feel that he's out there. And if he is, the only thing he deserves is death. He hands you an amulet, explaining that, for reasons unknown, it used to glow with a faint light whenever the creature got near. If you ever come across this spiteful weird spawn, please greet him from me. I never got the courage to do it myself. Okay. So have we got longer lasting weird candles? Um, what about rune stones? <laughs> None again. Okay. Blacksmith. I've only got 50. The blacksmith is hard. 50, Don't 50, even. 50 though. Uh, okay. Uh, weapon slot. Increase your damage by 5% this turn. Increase your armor by 10%. That one will do. Anything's better than nothing. So let's go in to rune stones, put this in to the defensive slot, there we are. So we are out with the sentinel, I don't know how well this works, but yeah, yeah, yeah candles last longer, oh what is that electricity around him? Do you see like the blue flashing of like lightning around him? Oh jeez, uh, Smoke shot, quiver, arrow bag. Uh, okay, right, so what have we got? Uh, Phantom's Aid, draw the shadow shot card ability. Why not? Uh, do deal one hit, go gain 10 damage, I'll deal one hit. Um, so we've got a normal shot which deals one hit for 6 to 10. Stun or chosen enemy or increase its arm increase its armor by fifty. Alright. Shadow, shadow shot, deal the hit for three to five and reduce target's armor until the end of combat. Wow, these aren't really costing a lot. Hit Okay, and then draw two arrows. Two more arrows. Wow, okay. Bang bang. Bang bang. Where is my defense? How do I... How do I defend if he hits? Uh, faints. Gain 10 armor this turn. Gain barrier equal to 100% of your armor. 
Okay. So I'll use that to gain. Oh, 20. Nice. Uh, Phantom Zay. Draw the. Sh uh, okay. Uh, reduce the target's armor. That would be nice. Arrow bag. Draw two arrows. That's always handy. Smoke shot. Increase its armor for two turns. I don't want to do that. Let's just hit it for that. And um, what have we got here? Let's just hit it. Okay, so looks like we get hits. And then let's shoot, shoot arrows at it. Okay. Uh, between 7 and 12. Wow! Okay, that was quick. <coughs> that was really quick. I'm not entirely sure with all the mechanics of, of how things work with the old uh, bow and all that, but that was pretty quick. So what we got? Heavy shot, deal one hit for 200% damage. Future shot, deal one hit for 50% damage and reduce the cost of the next maneuver by one energy. And we got Rancid Battlefield. Oh, what's this? A card that has many states flips to another state after being played. Oh, okay. Reduce enemy's armor by 20 until the end of combat and gain 20 armor for two turns. 20 armor is pretty cool, but... Future shot and the next maneuver by one energy. Deal, just deal a massive amount of damage for 200%. I think that'll be good. So I pick a new passive skill, a rupturing shot. Each hit has a 10% chance to reduce the enemy's armor by 5. Protective force. Drawing an additional arrow increases your armor by 5 this turn. And start every combat with 2 ultimate charge. But each hit has a 10% chance to reduce the enemy's armor by 5. I think that'll be really good with every hit. If we can get those uh, arrows and just constantly spam them. I think that's really going to benefit us. Right, who's this down here? A pack of enemies. Okay. But like I say, if you're watching this on YouTube, or you're watching it live right now, and you do know the mechanics of, of this guy here, the one with the bow, uh, please let me know, because I'm not entirely sure. Reduce armor of all enemies for 10 this turn. If not, draw two cards less. Yeah, I'm just going to use that. Faints, let's get 10. Ah, uh, 20 armor. Wow, that, that is brilliant. Uh, so, deal a shot. Actually, what's that? That's one. Uh, okay, so, reduce the target armor until the end of combat. That's going to be you. Uh, so, we'll... Uh, a shot between 6 and 10, okay, let's get you, another shot for 6 to 10, we'll take that, what have we got here, ultimate ability deals 3 hits for 1 to 3 to a random enemy, each ultimate charge equals to 1 hit, uh, charge in, play an arrow or spirit arrow card, okay, but if you do play this game a lot and you do know the mechanics of, of this one, Please let me know down in the old comment section. Gain 25% damage for three turns. Yes, please. Multi shot random enemies for plus 25% damage. That hurt them. And what have we got? Uh, six hits between four and eight. Go for it. Wow! You are pretty handy with the old bow and arrow. Uh, between seven and 12. Whoa, that is fast. Um, still not entirely sure on the whole mechanics. Come, train but... if you feel like it. These may be mere illusion. Well, uh, let's go on to the challenge. There's no point in going to the top one, is there? Just go for a challenge. And what the heck is this thing? Can't even see it all. All right. Uh, oh, there it is. It is a phase shifter. This enemy cycles between two forms, ethereal and living. The ethereal, it cannot be killed, but you can reduce its barrier. The amount of barrier that is left will be exchanged into HP for the next form. Ah! So it's form, basically, in this form that it's currently in right now. If we get this barrier down, that is going to be its HP for when it does shift forms. Ooh. 
Again, 100% damage. Yes, please. Uh, smoke shot. Don't want to give anything any armor. Phantom shot. Let's pick that. Let's reduce your armor. I know that didn't really hurt you, but we're just reducing your armor because we want to get your HP down. Smoke shot. Stun a chosen enemy. We're stunning you. And we'll go for shot. Let's get you out of the way because you have a healing ability by the looks of it. Uh, arrow back. Draw two arrows. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. And... Shot between 12 and 20. Thank you. What do we got? Let's just do that. Why not? But we don't have any armor. That's the bad thing. Faint. Again, barrel equal to 150 of your current armor. Okay. Uh, I can't risk losing 50% damage. Can't risk that. And wow, one hit. Jeez, that is very, very poor. We're getting slammed. Where's my defense? Gain barrier. Gain armor. Gain armor. And let's just do that just to throw a hit out there. I need defense. Bojo, 25% more damage. And heavy shot. Take you. Smoke shot increases armor. Don't want to increase your armor. Need to get you down. Get you down. But I. Oh, why not? Let's just random hit. But I've only got 23 la 23 health. I'm I'm not sure how exactly. Uh, you know, the defense works within this. Um, yeah, if you do know, please let me know in the comment section because I have no idea. Whenever you receive a hit, gain 10% armor for two turns. Alright. And uh, too many options. Drawing the first card over the handle limit grants you three ultimate charge and 100% chances to. Okay. Okay, so we've got. Three in that one. Nice. So, uh, an extra 20 in max health. Let's go again. So, we'll try one more time. And we will call it there. Of course, we have now been going for an hour and 38, hour and 39 minutes. Not bad going, not bad going at all. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Do you still consider uh, me having the upgraded rear candles? Yes, I do. Okay. Nice. Okay. Still not sure how this works. Well, oh, I'm just glad the rear candles last longer. Okay, let's run down here. To ugly big boy over here. There he is. You need to take more note of the defense. How? Gain 10 armor this turn. Gain barrier equal to 100% of your armor. Okay. Let's try that. So we've got 10 base armor, so that gives us 10 barrier. Okay. Ability returns to your hand every turn. Alright. And let's do this one. Um reduce the oh, reduce your armor by ten, that's a good one. Unless do a shot. Six to eleven, six to eleven. You're on forty three, what does that do? Do a couple of those. Why not? So we've done a fair bit of damage to it already. Multi-shot random enemies for plus 25% damage. 
Uh, deal one hit for six to eleven. Um, reduce armor of all enemies by twenty-five. And a phantom shot. Why not? And it's only got nine left, so we should. I was gonna say should be able to kill it, but apparently not. Two. Seriously, two health. Let's just get it. There we go. So, retreat tactics is gain 50 barrier. That's handy. Um, what have we got? Weird fiber shots. Uh, draw zero weak shots and gain zero barrier. One weak shot and ten barrier for every two ultimate charges. Okay. Acid shot. Deal one hit for 50% damage. Reduce target's armor by 30 until the end of combat. That's not really that good. I'll take the 50 barrier. Thank you very much. <coughs> and again, too many options. Drawing the first card over the handle limit grants you free, unlimited charge, and 100% damage this turn. Each hit has a 10% chance to deal more damage. Each hit has a 10% chance to deal 50% more damage. Uh, draw an additional arrows, increase your armor by 5 this turn. And we'll do critical hit. 50% chance on each hit to do more damage. I'm gonna take it. Uh, oh, what is that? I wanna know what that is. Let's go this way. The thing is, gonna get up that way though, that's the thing. Oh, who are you? What is he guarding? Oh jeez, you suck. Really, small shot random enemies for 25% plus more damage. Okie dokie. Gain 10% damage this turn if not played, lose 50 armor. Yep, yeah, can't afford to do that. And uh, let's get two more shots. And uh, between 6 and 11 damage on you. 6 and 11 damage on you. Right, your hit. Your hits absolutely suck. Gain 50 barrier. That's fantastic. Gain 25 damage for three turns. And let's just do two hits. Why not? Okay, so Phantom's Aid. Gain barrier equal to 150% of your current armor. Don't have any armor. Uh, this turn, gain 100% damage. Deal one hit and gain 25 barrier. Okay. So that needs to be a hit on you. So we've got 25 barrier. And gain barrier equal to 150% of your armor. And do that and do that. Okay. You, good sir, the faceless hunter, suck. Alright, so let's slap you around and get all these shots for 7 to 12. 7 to 12. We'll draw two more arrows. And for some reason it only drew one. Okay. And we're going to stun you and hit you with that. Three hits deal one to three random that no I'm not I'm not doing one to three. Um trap card deal three hits to random enemy. Oh, I love the trap card. I love trap cards. Uh arrow back. Let's draw some arrows. Do a four to seven damage. That is disgusting. I don't want to increase your armor because that's just silly. Faints. Don't want to do smoke shot. That's just silly putting his armor up. Uh, game barrier equal to 150% of your current armor. I have no armor. I'll do a shot. I'll do a shot. And four hits between three. Six, 12. We've got a chance of killing him. And it leaves him with one. Of course it does. 
but this one's gonna hit you anyway, so you're dead. Okay, so we've got oh, a bit of loot. Increase damage by two in the uh, weapon slot, or at the end of the turn, deal one hit for four damage to all enemy. Ooh, all enemies get hit for four damage. Or at the end of turn. Oh, okay, I'm taking that. So at the end of every of their turn, all mother altar. All mother shrines were a common sight across Avalon. Is this Despite what that lady was on about? Existence, settlers were grateful to the goddess, and they had good reason to be. For every ten people who set sail for Avalon, only four would reach the island, and only one or two would survive the first year. The shrine has faint traces of power lingering in the air. A priestess materializes out of the weirdness and asks what it is that you're looking for. 16 Kit Kats. Uh, perform a ritual. Okay. You feel a strange power rising around you. Is that a faint glow over the altar? Because we did get that thing from this. Or is it just that, like, a trick of the light? Witch kind of thing? Okay. Uh, rob the shrine, you get 500. Oh, jeez. Uh, I want a legendary the card. gazes at you with a blank stare. You realise that, despite her phantasmal appearance, the payment for her services must be very real indeed. Oh, what? Get out of it. I'm going to rob As the shrine. As you try to force the priestess to comply with your will, she begins to speak. Her incomprehensible words sound like slime dripping through dried oh, reeds. All healing As you disabled. To understand her, she disappears into the weirdness. That is not good, is it? Well, I tried. Five hundred would have been nice, though, wouldn't it? Really? Cursed healer, who are you? Who are you? It's not telling me. Treasure Guardian. Okay. <laughs> I try, tried to rob a priestess, but... Okay. Unbreakable gain barrier equal to your armor. I have no bloody armor. Uh, increase it, jeez. Free, enemy, free hits from an enemy. Uh, reduce armor of all enemies by 25 for three turns. Okie dokie. Let's hit some people. Uh, smoke shot. I do not want to increase the uh, the armor of everybody. Let's uh, get some shots in over here. There we go. Boom, boom. Smoke shot. I don't know why I hit you. Mr. P, you're a special case, I'm telling you, special case indeed. Oh wow, he's dead. Uh, I've got no... I don't get how the whole barrier thing, it just makes no sense to me. Couple of hits here and there. Couple of hits here and there. Get my old arrow bag out, do a couple more shots. There we are. There we are. Let's get your armor down. And apparently we're going to increase your armor just because we can stun you because you're going to hit hard. Bow draw. Arrow bag. Oh, how are you supposed to gain armor when we've got nothing that really gives you armor? Gain 10 armor, and then gain 25%, okay. It's a smoke shot. Just do that, just to stun it, and just get that one out of the way. Still 36 damage, jeez, that is poor. poor. If we do have a 25 barrier, that time. Um... Gain 10 barrier this turn. Gain 50 barrier. 
gain more barrier. Let's give him a little nice hit. Love tap, what do we want now? Six hits for three to six damage. Not fantastic, is it? Uh, unlock the arrow bag. Unlock another arrow bag. Gain 50% damage this turn or gain 10 armor. That will gain 10 armor, I think. So, something same as well. We'll unlock that one. Uh, reduce your armor. There we go. Actually, turn that way. That's a bit better, isn't it? Uh, so, we'll do a shot for you. Eight. Get him, please. There we go. Another one, six to ten. Another one, six to ten. Another one, six to ten. Smoke shot. Let's just get you out of the way and stun you. And right, now we do six hits for three to six. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. Just trying to slowly. Oh, geez, don't kill me. Uh. Do one hit and gain 25 barrier. Yes, please. Thank you. Gain barrier equal to 150% of your armor. I'm on 10. Keep doing that. Thank you. Alright, now let's do this. That wasn't that fantastic. I think the majority of them went up to this damn thing. So that all that saving up was basically a damn bust. And did you steal my... I think that stole my barrier. But yeah, we're dead. How are we not dead? Game barrier, please. Game barrier. Then use this to gain more barrier. Woo! How did we survive that one? I do not want to give you. Actually, yeah, I do. I don't want to be hit by you. Uh, now let's hit three to six. Uh, I hope these. Jeez. Oh, How did I win that? Jeez. Wow. So, pick a new card. We've got standoff, draw two arrows, and gain 50 barrier. Yeah, oh, yes, please. Uh, but what is it? It needs four charges. Jeez. Uh, Shot of Hope, deal one hit for 50% damage, and draw a card. And attrition, reduce enemies' damage by 25 and gain 10 damage for two turns. I'll take standoff. But wow, my health is You found what was protected low. when you filled your pockets up to the brim with Ooh. Gain two damage, unlock a new weapon slot for a rune stone, gain gain ten armor. Ten armor, please. Thank you. Wow, I need health. If I got L, I've not got a lot. There we go. Okay, well, please don't walk in the circle of that. Call this ancient. I know what they call it. We've seen this many times now. Whoa! Deal one hit for 60. Okay. I'm only on six. Six help. Did I not heal myself? I could have sworn. I used my health potions. That makes no sense. You see me use my health potions, and why am I straight back down to 6% HP? 
Uh, I think something's bugged out there. Um, uh, you saw me use two health potions. Um, and a health potion gives you 25 HP. How was I still on 6 HP? Um, that is confusing. I don't get that. But anyway, we've unlocked rewards. We have unlock, unlocked a new class, Pathfinder. Hopefully they are going to be a little bit better, but we'll find out in the next installment. So we, uh, it's been a pretty difficult one. Uh, we'll start with random consumables, but you never know. So, what are you, Pathfinder? Avoid taking damage in order to become more powerful with each turn. Alright. But, that is going to be it for this one. I hope you've had an amazing day. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, by all means, hit that like button. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. If you've got anything that can help me out, then by all means, please leave it in the comment section down below. Till then, have a fantastic day, and I will see you all later on.